Hello there. This is Cynthia Clark. I am your palm reading consultant, love compatibility coach, and I'm also an author and speaker. And thank you so much for joining me today. I want to talk about a very important question. What does it mean to live an authentic life? And we're going to answer a couple of things in today's live stream. We're going to look at how this, uh, what this actually means, how this can help you find your soulmate, and how this shows up in your hands and how your hands can help you to um, answer these questions. So thank you so much for coming on. So what does it mean to live an authentic life? Well, the way that I define it is that it's living your true self, uh, being being in your right life, being in your true life. And, and what that means is that when you get up in the morning, you feel like you're on track. You feel like you're, you're more or less doing what you're supposed to be doing. And you feel like you're, you're being you, you're expressing who you are, you're being true to who you are. And you are following a path that has meaning and joy and purpose. Now, of course, we struggle as humans, we struggle with this and we fall off track. We feel like, well, maybe there really isn't an authentic life, you know, or maybe you don't even think about it. But I want you to start thinking about it because I want you to realize that the more that you can be authentic, in other words, be who you are designed to be the more your life is going to fall into place. And what I mean by that is you will be able to actually find your soulmate. You'll be able to uh, be on track in your work and your contribution, and you're going to actually be happier and more fulfilled. And the, the best part of all of this is that your hands actually can help you with this. So, this is what I love about hands more than anything. So, so let's take a look at some examples, uh, first of all, of, of what it means to be authentic. Okay, so obviously, if you're a monkey, you don't expect that monkey to be a tree. Or if you're a cow, you don't expect the cow to be a lion. Okay, so why do we expect ourselves to be something completely different? in our day to day, you know, it's, it's like when we go to meet somebody, or if we want to attract our soulmate, we want to find somebody who we're compatible with. And then we pretend that we're actually somebody else, you know, we, we're not authentic. So we make up this story of who we think that they want us to be. And when we do that, and the more we do that, the more we're actually getting away from our authentic self. And, and we're also going to start attracting people who are not really in alignment with us. And I definitely want to stress that this is something we want to avoid. So, but maybe you don't know who you are. That's like, who am I? <laughs> what does it mean to be authentic? And this is where hand analysis comes in and your hands can tell you all about this. So for those of us, uh, if you're just coming on, I'm Cynthia Clark. I'm your certified palm reading consultant, love compatibility coach, and I'm really excited to share these tips with you on how your hands actually can help you to live an authentic life. So the first thing I wanna talk about is your fingerprints. Okay, your fingerprints actually form on your hands five months before you're born, they're fully formed at that point and they never change. They represent your soul imprint. And there are actually four different types of fingerprints. And I have some uh, visual aids to help us understand today. Okay, so here are the four basic fingerprint types. Okay, so we've got uh, over here, we've got the loop. Okay, looks like a little wave pattern in the hands, by the way, this is the most common type of fingerprint. Shows up in about 70% of all fingerprints. We have over here the whirl fingerprint, looks like a bullseye. 
pattern. It's about 25% of fingerprints. Down here, we've got the simple arch. Looks like a little wave, um, not a wave pattern, but like a little hill is how I describe this one. And then um, the least common, the tented arch, is this one over here. And this one has a little point right in the middle of the print. So it comes up and then back down. And it looks like a tent pole right in the middle of the print. And that one is called the tented arch. Okay, so when you first learn about your fingerprints, identify the type of fingerprint that you have, that can actually help you to understand what you came in as. So um, we read the fingerprints actually like a map and the map can help identify who you are. So understanding these patterns can actually help you understand who you are authentically. So your life purpose is here, your life lesson, your school, you know, how you uh, look, look at the world. And this is very important to just guiding you through your life. So another thing that I recommend looking at is your archetype. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next visual aid. <laughs> and we're going to look at an example. Okay, this one we call the dreamer archetype. And the dreamer archetype is somebody who has a, a long palm or a rectangular palm. In other words, a narrow palm and somebody with long fingers. Okay, this is also called a water hand. And we're also looking for a strong Apollo finger or ring finger. Okay, and this is the archetype I call the dreamer, which I talk about in my book, Stories in Your Hands. And so your archetype forms by the time you're about six years old and it represents uh, your subconscious influences that form your personality um, and your hand shape sets by this time and it impact, impacts you for the rest of your life. So when you're being authentic, it's understanding what this archetype is and it's also expressing it. So if you're a dreamer, if you happen to have this hand shape, what that means is that you're somebody who needs to be spontaneous. You need to be open to new possibilities. This is a very um, uh, youthful energy that comes through this hand. So you wanna think about, okay, how can I be more spontaneous and youthful and, and exuberant and, and what kind of things get me excited? <laughs> you know, and, and purpose is that way too. It's like, well, what gets you fired up? You know, uh, for me, it's living my passions is actually my life purpose. And, you know, sometimes you have to I, go through experiences where you're not on purpose to actually figure out what it is that you do want to do. So sometimes we have to just go within and we have to contemplate what it is that we want to express. Uh, by the way, if, you're, if you want to try something uh, that can help you, I recommend Moonstone. Uh, this is a little crystal called Moonstone, and it's really adorable. It can help you with purpose. So if you want to try meditating with one of these, uh, that would be a good way to do it. Of course, getting your hands red is another good way to do it. Um, but I'm trying to give you some tools that can guide you. So Another thing that we want to find out besides our archetype is we want to look at the rest of the hand. Okay, so let me come here to our last visual. And I have an actual handprint. Okay, now this is somebody I've read for in the past. And we want to just take a look. Now, the lines and everything else in the hands do have significance. And they show you uh, all sorts of different things about who you are and how you can be authentic. What's key with this is you want to identify different talent markers, different potentials that can show up, and you want to express those. So, for example, if you have a talent marker, you want to use that talent 
so that you can be authentic and happy. Okay, now on this particular hand, this person has a special fork at the end of their headline called the writer's fork. Okay, so if you look at the headline, it's actually this line here that goes straight across the hand, and it's going to be this little fork at the end. Let's see if I can get this close enough so you can see it. There's a little fork at the end of this line. Okay, so your headline representing the way that you think, and this is a talent marker showing up. So this person, if I were reading for them today, I would say, guess what? You've got some writing ability. Are you doing any writing in your life? Because that's actually going to help you to feel more fulfilled and be authentic. So, and of course, there's tons of other markers that you can see as well, but these are just some examples for you. So what I want you to do today is think about how am I being authentic and showing up in my relationships with the people that I meet, the people that I'm already in relationship with, and how can I be more authentic? How can I be more of who I am? How can I show up every day as who I am? And if you want to, I would invite you to start um, my five-day challenge. It's totally free, and it can help you align to your soulmate. So it's a five-day challenge. You can just push the button right here on this page that says play game is how you get started. And I'm also offering a prize um, if you follow all the steps. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I'm excited to um, get you on the path to authenticity and also to help you find your soulmate, which is ultimately what I want for you. So have a wonderful day, everyone, and I'll catch you again next week at the same time.